What it does pretty much is that it charges energy when you don't need it, and it discharges when you need it, and it can do it with a lot of power. It all starts with a strange black powder, a whisper of carbon known as graphene, a material so impossibly thin you would need a powerful microscope just to resolve a single layer. For years, graphene was the stuff of scientific legend, a material that promised to change everything, to make our world faster, lighter, and stronger. It always seemed to be stuck in the laboratory, a futuristic dream that never quite made it into real life. That is no longer true. In a quiet corner of Estonia, a company called Skeleton Technologies is pulling that dream from the realm of theory and forging it into something tangible, something powerful. They are using graphene not as a concept, but as a core component in a new kind of energy storage, a technology that is already being deployed in the real world, in our trains, our long-haul trucks, and even our most demanding race cars. It works in ways most of us have never seen before, and the story begins in a place where time itself is bent to their will. In an unassuming building outside the city, machines are in a state of constant, steady operation. Inside, workers are subjecting energy devices to a strange and relentless form of testing. They don't have 10 years to wait to see if something will last, so they have built rooms that make time move faster. One chamber is kept perpetually hot and wet, a simulation of a tropical storm that never ends, relentlessly pushing the components to their limits. Another oven runs non-stop, baking parts at extreme heat to accelerate their aging process. This is how they discover if their energy systems can survive years of hard use in the span of just a few weeks. While this kind of rigorous testing is standard for batteries, it represents a fresh path for supercapacitors, a technology most people didn't expect to last this long in the first place. But Skeleton Technologies is determined to change that perception. They are integrating smart diagnostic tools into their modules, systems that can track the health of a part, monitor how much energy it has left, and analyze how it's aging over time. From the outside, the setup looks like little more than an assembly of wires, fans, and metal boxes. But what's truly being tested here is trust. Can these devices survive the brutal realities of the real world? That is the question they're trying to answer, one long, accelerated hour at a time. Most of us think of energy as something constant and immediate. You flip a switch and the light turns on. But energy isn't always like that. Sometimes it waits in silence. This is the unique talent of a supercapacitor. It charges up and holds onto that energy, waiting patiently for the precise moment it is needed. Then, in a fraction of a second, it can release all of it at once. There is no delay, no warm-up time, just a torrent of pure power, delivered exactly when it's needed most. This function is fundamentally different from that of a battery. A battery relies on chemical reactions to store its energy, which means it takes time to charge and time to release its power. A supercapacitor, on the other hand, stores energy electrostatically, right on the surface of its material, and that is what makes it so incredibly fast. Think of the sudden, brilliant burst of a camera flash. That is a tiny version of what a supercapacitor does. Now, imagine that kind of instantaneous energy scaled up, made powerful enough to stop a freight train in its tracks or jolt a massive truck engine to life in the dead of winter. This isn't a theoretical application that might work one day. It's already out there, on real roads, inside real machines. And the key that makes it all possible is a material small enough to be held between your fingertips. Far up north, where the snow seems to never melt and winter holds its icy grip, machines fight a different kind of war. It's not the roads or the ice that stops them. It's the paralyzing cold that kills their power. Diesel truck engines, in particular, despise freezing temperatures. The oil thickens to sludge and conventional batteries lose their strength unable to deliver the powerful crank needed to start. In places like Finland or Alaska, truckers used to leave their engines running all weekend, burning fuel just so their vehicle wouldn't be dead by Monday morning. Skeleton Technologies found another way. They engineered a specialized supercapacitor module that can force those heavy engines back to life, even at a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees Celsius. It requires no warm-up, offering raw, instant power the moment you turn the key. A single module can replace half of the heavy, old-fashioned lead-acid batteries in a truck, and in some cases, all of them. That means less weight, 
which translates to less fuel and less waste. But there's something else that makes it remarkable. These modules are smart. If the truck's other systems, like the radio or cabin lights, drain too much power overnight, the supercapacitor will not intervene. It intelligently saves its strength for one critical job. Because the next morning, when that driver turns the key, one thing matters above all else. The engine must start. The secret to this incredible performance doesn't just lie in the material, but in its form. Energy, it turns out, doesn't just depend on size. It depends on shape. Inside every skeleton supercapacitor is a unique form of graphene. It is not flat like a sheet of glass, but curved, bent, and folded like a crumpled piece of paper. That specific shape changes everything. In a supercapacitor, energy is stored on the surface. Therefore, the more surface area you have, the more energy you can hold. So instead of using smooth, flat graphene, Skeleton painstakingly folds it to create an astronomical number of edges, corners, and contours. More room for power to live. A flat piece of metal may seem thin, but it is still made of hundreds of thousands of atoms stacked together. Graphene is just one layer of carbon, a single atom thick. And when you twist and curve that single layer, you unlock entirely new possibilities. At full speed, in the heat of a race, there is no time to think. Decisions are made in milliseconds. As an IndyCar driver screams down a straight and brakes hard into a sharp corner, everything depends on timing and energy. The brakes absorb a colossal amount of power as the car slows, but with skeleton supercapacitors, that energy isn't lost. It's captured. In just a few seconds of braking, more than a megawatt of energy can be pulled from the drivetrain and stored. That power doesn't go to waste. It is held for mere moments and then released again on the next straight. A quick push of extra horsepower, just enough to pull ahead. This all happens impossibly fast. The supercapacitors charge in four seconds and discharge in even less. And they can do it over and over again, millions of times, without wearing down like a battery would. All of this power is packed into a unit that is lighter than a car door. If you tried to achieve the same effect with lithium batteries, the weight would double the car would slow, and the race would be lost. Here, energy moves like breath, in, out, controlled, and predictable. The same principles of rapid response are now being applied to stabilize our aging power grids. Most people don't notice when the lights flicker, but the grid does. For years, our energy came from giant, spinning machines. It all comes back to that pinch of black powder, dry, dusty, and easy to miss. But this is graphene, the real kind. Not a drawing in a textbook. Not a concept waiting in a lab. Skeleton is making more of it than anyone else ever has. And they are not stopping. New factories are planned, and production is rising. People used to joke that graphene could do anything except leave the lab. But now it's out there. It's helping drivers start their engines in freezing weather, and keeping the lights in a hospital steady when everything else flickers. This powder doesn't shout or glow, but it is already working behind the scenes. And perhaps that is what makes it so powerful. The best kind of change doesn't always come with noise. Sometimes it's quiet, gentle, and real. The future didn't shout. It arrived silently.